The figure is made out of a square and three identical quadrants of 28 cm radius. Find the area of the shaded part, taking pi to be 22 out of 7. So to deal with this problem, let me first extend out this quarter circle into a semicircle. Let me extend out this quadrant as well. Okay, then let me draw a vertical line through this. And we can see that this portion can be moved over here. Alright. Next, you have to be able to see that from the center of the circle to this arc is a radius. And the angle between this line and the radius is 45 degrees. Similarly, when you extend out a radius to this point, it will also be 45 degrees. So, combining these two up, we can see that this is effectively a right angle, 90 degrees. So, if we consider this little sector here, this blue sector, 90 degrees out of 360 degrees is 1 out of 4, which means that this is a quadrant. Once we have been we are able to see this, the effective area of this quadrant is simply 1 quarter times radius 28 times 28 times pi, which is 22 out of 7. So this would give us 616 cm squared. Now the area of this triangle might be a bit difficult to see. But keep in mind that this is your base and this is your perpendicular height. Okay, Once we know this, it is clear that the area of the triangle is simply half times base, 28 times height, 28. So that will be 392 cm squared. Then the area of the shaded part would simply be 616 minus 392 cm squared to give us 224 cm squared.